I don't know whether to be flattered or insulted. You are perfectly capable of framing Johnny for a crime you committed. No more capable of Johnny actually doing it. Well, Johnny's been taunting you for months, and he's he doesn't bother to be discreet about it. He's costing you money. He brought me photographic evidence of you engaging in illegal contraband. With Johnny out of the picture, your life is a whole lot easier. Well, I don't deny that, but I didn't kill Tommy Lopez, and I didn't frame Johnny. I only told you what happened to go on the record. I don't exactly expect you to believe me. See, what you're going to do is you're going to rack your brain and try and find any excuse in the world for this not to check out, not to be true. Let Sonny make jackasses out of you and the rest of the PCPD. Make sure he sees how far you're going to protect him. You know, you, whether your account of Tomas Lopez's murder is true or not, doesn't matter to me. It's not my job to sort it out. I'm just here to take you in. Shame this ended so abruptly. Mm, brain check. Count on her. That's my cue. Why are you always leaving? Duty calls. What, Johnny? It's got nothing to do with you. I realize you'd like to forget altogether that I'm the federal prosecutor. Oh, you're the only one? This is mob-related. It's my jurisdiction. I'd like to believe you didn't do this. Sounds like progress. Hi, Carly. How are you? She's starting to like me a little bit. I can tell. The timing's perfect. You're due for a fall. I guess I've turned into one of those women that I can't stand. The I'm blinded by love so nothing else exists syndrome. I mean, at least I've learned from it and maybe I won't be so intolerant. Look, I'm not trying to be insensitive. I, I don't mean to be going on about love when you and Maxie are... I just want you to know that I haven't gone completely brain dead. And, and I remember that we were friends once. We have history. I remember when you disappeared and me and Jason tracked you down at your granny's. You convinced me to come back to Port Charles. A life-altering decision which has enriched my existence beyond measure. Though it has not been without pain. Nothing there is. I'm sorry. Are you here for idle reminiscing or to seek absolution? Because in truth, I don't have time for either. A helpless baby is is in need, and Stone Cold cannot assist because he's being locked away. So why are you intervening? I would think you have enough on your plate running young men down on the road or, or an out-of-control adolescent inciting a shooting spree in the middle of a hospital. Now, I would suggest that you take care of your own predictably tawdry business and stay out of what's between me and my grandson. There's nothing between you and your grandson. He hates you. We all do. I know this seems impossible, but if you can, try really, really, really hard to show a little bit of compassion in that lump of coal that is your heart and give them some peace. Are you okay? No, I need you to leave now. You say you didn't take her son. I did not. And you know nothing that can help us find him? No. Then do what Elizabeth asked and leave. Remember this day, Nicholas. In the course of time, it will resonate. I mean, it's unbearable. I'm sorry, you know, I shouldn't argue with her. It's just hard to resist, but eggs are on and makes it more chaotic. I'm usually better at standing up to her. I'm gonna go make sure she really leaves. Okay. Look, there is nothing more horrible than not knowing where your child is or with whom, and I want you to know that I understand what you're going through, and if there's anything, anything at all that you need, you don't hesitate to ask, okay? Look, Pablo, it's a present from your big brother, Bobby. That's the door. That means we have a visitor. Shall I go see who it is? Hello, man. 
I don't know. Lorenzo Spence with the Census Bureau. Oh, my. That sounds official. Have I done something wrong? No, no, man. It uh, probably just got lost in life shuffle. But uh, according to our records, uh, no census form was returned from this address. We only just moved here. Ah, uh, well, that explains it. Are you uh, enjoying your time in Astoria so far? Oh, it's lovely. Yeah. I'm sure we'll be very happy in Astoria. <laughs> Listen, uh, about the census, uh, it's very important that we collect the information. Most people don't know this, but um, distribution of government monies and services are determined by the census results. So if you could spare a moment, I'd, I'd love to ask you a few questions. Oh, yeah, it'll only take five minutes. And as an added bonus, I'll take the form with me. You won't even have to walk to the mailbox. Of course. Come in. Thank you. One question. I already know that there are at least two of you living here. 